don't know. I don't know. It feels different. What do you mean it feels different? You seem really down in the dumps, man. You just say that again. I don't feel like this kids. What's the meaning of it all? I understand. You don't feel like the children of the world really understand what Christmas is all about? Exactly. I want them to know. They're not all about me. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to make you feel better and get you back into the Christmas spirit, bro. <laughs> I think I do. Why don't you tell the story of Christmas to remind ourselves what it is all about? Great idea. And then we can do our best to share our little toys. I feel better already. Ho, ho, ho! Look, I see Frosty coming. Maybe she would like to hear the story. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
is so cool. Yes, he follows the star and brought gifts to worship him because they knew he was the Son of God. The gifts were gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What is that? Those gifts were traditional gifts for a king. Gold is a precious metal. Frankincense is a perfume for incense. And myrrh is a form of anointing oil. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think the kids today would like those gifts. Probably not, but they were pretty normal at the time. All right, that was the first Christmas gift. Yes, and that is why this has become the season of giving. Where's the season of giving? God gave us his son and taught the art of generosity. And that inspires us to do the same. That's right. This is the reason we give. And as we go out to deliver gifts to the children, our hope is when they look at the gift, they see the first gift. What a great story. Thank you for sharing it. Now if you want to have a great Christmas, Yeah.